day one of hibernation. We bleed. <laughs> Spring is here, and before I say hello to spring, I must turn and say thank you to winter. It was a winter like I've never had before. Just like the bear, I went inward for hibernation. I turned off the outside world and gave myself a break. A break from working hard. A break from waking up early and going to bed late. A break from people, a break from noise but mostly a break from the buzz of social media. Three months without it, and I'm in no rush to get back. It has been extremely nice to live in my immediate reality, not knowing much of what's going on out in the world. By eliminating the distraction of social media, I found myself spending more time doing things that bring value to my life and learning about things that I've wanted to learn for years. I was able to enjoy the holidays and other special moments without worrying or feeling like I needed to capture and create the perfect post to share on my Instagram. Boom! By cutting out the noise and influence of the extended world, I have found more of me. Since the day I was born, I have been influenced by others. Some have been positive influences and some not so much. It's my job as a conscious human being to navigate and sift through those influences in my life and sort them out. Do they serve me on this path that I've chosen or do I let them go? Oftentimes that might mean looking to the past and reflecting on old influences, the ones that told me that I'm too much, too loud, 
too weird. It means releasing the influences that put a lid on me. The ones that energetically put their hands around my throat and suffocated the life and essence out of who I was. This winter held moments where my inner child got to come back and be herself. And dancing like nobody was watching. Even though it was all eyes on me as their bellies bellowed with laughter. In front of the very people that had put a lid on me as a child, I was finally able to pop the top and let my freak flag fly. I'm realizing more and more that I wasn't born to walk a straight line and do what's expected. I was born to walk barefoot through mud and dirt. I'm a hippie at heart and I was born to be wild and free. This is an exciting time for me. As spring unfolds, I get to show up with more me in my being than I ever had before, with less care and more free. More voice, more intuition, more instinct. I've nurtured myself deeply for the past 12 weeks, and I'm excited to experience the next season of growth. I don't quite know what's in store for me yet. But thank you, Winter, for a time well spent. And Spring, I welcome you and your blossoming flowers, and your buzzing bees, and your singing birds, with big open arms and a heart full of love. The enemy got me. I felt myself coming down with something yesterday, and I did all the right things. I felt good this morning. So I got up, I went for a walk, I did my thing, and then I started feeling the chills and the aches coming on. So I came home and I curled up under a blanket and I couldn't get warm. So I hopped in the bath and it took me five minutes to get warm. And then I came back out here, just lay down, and I just woke up hot then cold, then hot, then cold. And I had Chatty bring me a bucket. And I just threw up in it. Taking some meds. And yeah, 